It is the second year memorial for legendary singer Raskamono, who passed away on the 10th of June two years ago. In celebration of his life and times, Entertainment News on Channel's television met with his daughter Oge Kimono, who has also gained some recognition in the reggae music genre. It's been two years now since the passing of the Nigerian reggae legend Raskimono, whose music alongside a few of his contemporary helped institute reggae music in the country. Although gone, he definitely hasn't been forgotten, and his daughter Oge Kimono misses him. If I had like um, challenges, I, I usually go to him and ask him, how do I get over this or how do I get to, you know, uh, make this right? And he gives great advice, you know, and not having somebody to run to, you know, it's, it's really, really um, frustrating, you know, because then you have to be the adult, you know. I mean, of course I'm an adult, but being an adult in the sense that you have to make every decision by yourself without having to seek for his advice anymore. So that's, that's really, really um, very, very sad for me, you know. I, I miss him every day. I, I even feel like crying. But yeah, I miss him every day. I have a, I have a picture of his, um, a, a photo of him on my wall. So when I wake up in the morning, his face is the first face I see. A new documentary about his life and time has been released by the Copyright Society of Nigeria to celebrate and also immortalize the Rastafarian who has been described by many as simple, loving and just. Everybody that knows Raskimono, knows Raskimono stands for equality and he, he, he believes that everyone is equal. You know, no matter your status in the society, no matter your, your uh, degree, your career, whatever it is, you are all equal. We are all human beings first before any other thing, you know. And um, justice, he, he, injustice, he doesn't support injustice, you know. He, he's, he's always the mouthpiece of the masses, you know, the common man, you know. And um, love, he, that, is, that is what he lives for, that is what he stands for, you know. Everybody that knows Kimono knows Kimono has a large heart, you know. He's, he's a lover, he's a lover, he loves everybody, everybody's arms are wide open to everybody. So yeah, that, that's definitely his legacy and that's definitely something that I'm, I'm carrying on. Following in the footsteps of her father was quite easy when he was around. Now that he's gone, Oge feels the burden of playing in a genre that is now off the mainstream radar. But she remains resolute in following what has now become more than just a passion. I said, reggae music speaks truth to life, you know. And um, if there's anything I've learned from my father, it's being original and staying true to who you are, you know. And for the fact that I was raised by him the way he raised me up and made me to always know that it's better to speak the truth than hide away from it, you know. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't have done any other genre of music, you know. I mean, this is, it's not, um, it's not like I chose it. It's not like I chose reggae music. Reggae music chose me because I was born into it, you know, so. As which of her father's songs or lyrics immediately jumps out when she remembers him, she quickly picks the track from 1988. <laughs> Under pressure, and you know, it's funny that he has done this song all the all these years, you know, and to see that the whole world was under pressure, under pressure, everybody was panicking, you know, under pressure, black and white, under pressure, we're all under pressure. Why are we under pressure? Why are we putting ourselves under pressure? We are the ones cursing all of this. It's all human. They're, all of this is man-made. Ras Kimono, real name Oseloke Augustine Omubuya, died on the 10th day of June 2018.